Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. This is Omi Walk. Today my walking route is one of the most famous UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1988, Strasbourg. We will explore the streets of Strasbourg together. Thank you for joining my walking tour. Please subscribe to Omi Walk and like the video. Enjoy watching. A settlement at the current site of the city of Strasbourg has existed since the Bronze Age due to its excellent geographical position at the crossroads of waterways and overland routes. In 12 BC, this settlement became the main outpost of the Roman Empire in its defense against the Germanic tribes of Northern Europe and it was named Argentoratum. In the 15th century, when Strasbourg became a free republic, it attracted free thinkers and reformists who took asylum in the city and helped the city to grow culturally. The period during the 18th and 19th century brought further turmoil to the city and ended with the defeat of Napoleon III. After a six-week siege on the city, destroying many buildings and monuments, it became part of the German Empire only to return to France shortly after First World War in 1918. Second World War again caused mass destruction in the city, and the aggressive occupation by the Germans shaped the city once more with its Germanization policy. After the end of Second World War, Strasbourg regained its status as the crossroads of Europe when in 1949 it was chosen as the headquarters of the Council of Europe. Since 1979, it has been the seat of the 15-member European Parliament and the European Court of Human Rights since 1994.
The city of Strasbourg is traversed by the ICLL River, which divides and surrounds the Grand Isle Big Island, on which the old town and most of the city's famous buildings are situated. The island was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1988. Strasbourg's 11th 15th century cathedral of Notre Dame, damaged in 1870 and again in World War II, has been carefully restored. Strasbourg plays a major role as a business, commercial, and cultural center. Besides its traditional role as the chief city of Alsace, Strasbourg is also the seat of a number of European institutions and bodies including the European Parliament, the Council of Europe, and the European Court of Human Rights. Petite France, a less than romantic origin. The picturesque Petite France district of Strasbourg hides a history that is less idyllic than it might seem. The origin of the name dates back to the Middle Ages, to 1494 to be precise, during the Italian campaign. French troops returning from the war brought with them syphilis, a disease unknown in Europe at the time and quickly dubbed the French disease in Italy. In Strasbourg, sufferers were isolated in the Tanners district, which was not exactly renowned for its cleanliness, particularly in a house called Zum Franzoisel, which later became La Petite France.
bees living in the cathedral Strasbourg Cathedral probably has one of the largest beehives in Strasbourg. The bees nest in the Boulin holes, 12 centimeter wide holes in the stone that were once used to hang wooden sleepers to support the scaffolding when the cathedral was being built. Today, these holes are sealed with stone plugs to keep out pigeons. But bees manage to squeeze through them to protect themselves from the heat in summer and the cold in winter. Teams from Ouvre Notre Dame, which is responsible for preserving the building, regularly have beekeepers remove the swarms and place them in one of the hives installed at the back and sides of the cathedral. Managed by the AP Terre Association, these hives produce honey that is harvested every year. The oldest Christmas market in France, Strasbourg, has been holding a Christmas market, also known as Christkindlesmarkt, since 1570. This makes Strasbourg the oldest Christmas market in France and one of the oldest in Europe. The city with the most bridges in France, Strasbourg, is the French city with the most bridges with more than 230 bridges over rivers and streams, it has more than Amiens, Toulouse or Paris. On the scale of the Euro Metropole, there are even over 450 bridges, more than Venice, which has just 435.
C'est des loups C'est ça, c'est The first mention of the Christmas tree is in Strasbourg. The tradition of the Christmas tree, an essential symbol of the end of year festivities, has its roots in Strasbourg long before the oft quoted mention of Celestat in 1521. In fact, a document from the Uver Notre Dame dating from 1492 reveals that Strasbourg is the real cradle of this custom. The oldest white wine in the world. At the heart of Strasbourg's civil hospital, the historic cellar of the hospices holds an extraordinary secret. It houses the oldest white wine in barrels in the world, dating back to 1472. This cellar, a witness to hospital history, was founded in 1395, long before the famous Hospices de Bourne.
piece of the Berlin Wall can be found in Strasbourg. In the gardens of the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, a significant piece of world history catches the eye. Four sections of the Berlin Wall. Erected in 1961 during the Cold War, the Berlin Wall symbolized separation, and its fall on night November 1989 became a symbol of freedom and union.
Thank you for joining me on this captivating journey through the historical streets of Strasbourg. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to join me on more adventures through history and cities. This is Omiwalk, wishing you all safe. Travels on your own journeys through time and history. Au revoir.